Hi, this is Kelly Brown, and today we're going to look at VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a lookup function that's very versatile and can be used in a lot of different situations. For the workshop worksheet that we have in front of us, we have a column that has test scores and a column that wants grades. We, so we want to assign a letter grade based on the numerical value of the test score. The way VLOOKUP will do that is based on this table array to the right. The table array has to be sorted in ascending order, which means the lowest value is first, the highest value is last, going down a column. And what this table array is saying is that any test score where the numerical value is above a 90, the letter grade that should be assigned is a letter A. Then any test scores between that the numerical values between 80 and 89, the letter grade assigned should be a B. For any test scores where the numerical value is between 70 and 79, the letter grade assigned should be a C. Any test score where the numerical value is between 65 and 69, the letter grade should be a D. And any test score where the numerical value is between 0 and 64, the letter grade will be an F. So that is what VLOOKUP will do. It will assign a letter grade based on the numerical value of the test score and using this table array as a guide. So let's get started. We're going to place our cursor in the first cell under, in the grade column, underneath the grade column header. We're going to go to the ribbon and click on the Formulas tab. Go to the Lookup and Reference category. It's a VLOOKUP function, so we're going to the Lookup and Reference category. Clicking on it, and the very last choice is VLOOKUP. We're going to click on VLOOKUP, and an argument box appears. We're going to follow the directions of the argument box, and we will be successful in calculating our VLOOKUP. The very first um, option here is Lookup Value. That's where our cursor is blinking. If we're not sure what that is, we can read down here. It says lookup value is the value to be found in the first column of the table and can be a value, a reference, or a text, screen, a text string. The lookup value does not always have to be in the first column as it is not here, but we can still get it to work. Lookup value is really saying what are we looking up in order to get the value that we want returned. Well, what we're looking up to get our letter grade to return is the test score. So I'm going to click in the cell, first cell that has a numerical value for a test score. That is cell reference C2. That's what appears next to lookup value. And I can see the value of cell reference is 99. Okay, and that's what we want. Then we go to the next option. It says table array. And table array is a table of text, numbers, or logical values in which data is retrieved. Table array can be a reference to a range or a range name. Well, we know that this is our table array here. So I'm going to click and drag to select the values in that table array. And we see that, that that appears here. But when you are using a table array, it's a good idea to assign absolute cell references to the table array so that VLOOKUP always goes to the exact same cells to find the retrieving returning value. To assign absolute cell references to our table array, I'm going to click and drag to select the first cell reference, G3. With it selected, I'm going to click the F4 or Function 4 key in my keyboard. When I do that, you will see that the cell reference changes a little bit. It's now dollar sign $G, dollar sign $3. That means that it will, that's now at a fixed location. It's, they're only going to look at cell reference G3. I want to do the same thing for cell reference H7. I'm going to click and drag to select it. Then I'm going to click the function 4 or F4 key. And again, you'll see that the cell reference changes a little bit. It's now dollar sign H dollar sign 7. So what that means is it will only look at these cells to determine the returning value for the numerical value in our um, VLOOKUP. That is important because sometimes when you're clicking and dragging to calculate a formula, it may 
start to move to the down or move to the right and we don't want that to happen. We only want it to look at those particular cells. Okay, so the next um, choice for the column for the VLOOKUP is column index number. The column index number is looking at the table array as we can see if I place my cursor here column index number it says is the column number in the table array for which the matching value should be returned. The first column of values is in the table array is column 1. So again, this is our table array. It says the first column of values is column 1, but the returning value that we want, the matching value should be returned, is here, the letter grades. So if this is column 1, our, our column index number is column 2 because column 2 is the column that has the values that we want returned. So we're just going to type in the number 2 next to column index number. Type in the number 2 under column index number. Okay, so now we have range lookup. And this is a true false statement. And it depends what you're doing with the B lookup to determine which tr should it be true or should it be false. Here is a lot range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match in the first column sorted in ascending order equals true. Well, that's exactly what we're wanting. We're looking for the closest match from the first column sorted in ascending order, which is true. If we were trying to find an exact match, we would enter false. We don't have exact matches here. We have a range of numbers or the closest match. And so we will put in true. And I'm just typing in the word true. And now we have our values here and we see that the calculation is bringing up uh, an A. And let's click OK to see if that's correct. Well, if the test score was a 99, the letter grade that should be assigned to it should be an A. So let's click and drag. And by that, I mean I'm going to click in the cell that has the value or the answer we want to appear. We want to copy. Click in the bottom right corner of that cell wait for this symbol to change to a plus symbol and then double click with my left mouse button now we see that that value lookup has been applied to the other cells in the column that had values for test scores and i can see right here with uh, test scores of 70s i uh, it brought it returned the value of letter c with a test score of 69 it brought it returned the value of the letter d Test score of 95, it returned the value of the letter A. Here we had a test score of 80, it returned the value of a B. So that looks exactly correct based on our table array. So we were successful in assigning a letter grade based on the numerical value of a test score using the V lookup function.